What is up y'all, it's your boy the Renegade Enigma doing another video and in this video, as you can see, I'm doing a Mortal Kombat video. I haven't done one of these in a while, ever since the Mortal Kombat X days and whatever. But, you know, I thought I would be covering this sometime next year and whatever, that's when like the news going to start like coming out and whatever. But apparently there's this website claiming to have information on next Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat 11. You know, there's no subtitle as of right now, so we're going to call it Mortal Kombat 11. But, um, yeah, y'all, you know, it claims to know some of the story, like, basically, what the, you know, game's gonna be about, and, you know, some of the characters. Some are, like, no-brainers, you know what I mean? I think anybody could've thought of these, and the other ones are like, okay, that's interesting, right? So, the characters, they say, without a doubt, are gonna be Scorpion, Sub-Zero, and Raiden. And to this, I say, duh. Like... They've been in every Mortal Kombat game, except Scorpion was not in Mortal Kombat 3, which a lot of people were pissed off about. But for the most part, all three of them have been in every single Mortal Kombat game. And they say the rumor, because they saw sketches of these characters that are going to be in this game, are Onaga, the Dragon King, which debuted in Mortal Kombat Deception. Blaze, who was, uh, who debuted in... Well, technically, he debuted in Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance, but, you know what I mean, he basically had a huge part in Mortal Kombat Armageddon. He was the boss of Mortal Kombat uh, Armageddon. And also from Mortal Kombat uh, Armageddon, like, the story, like, really focused on them and whatever. They were, like, the stars of it. Were Taven and Dagon. You know what I mean? So all four of these characters, apparently, according to this website, are going to be in this game. Now, if you don't know, Mortal Kombat X, you know... The one that's out right now, it focused storyline wise, if you paid attention, on Mortal Kombat 4, you know, the whole Shinnok storyline. Um, in my opinion, it covered Mortal Kombat uh, Deadly Alliance because it focused a lot on uh, Quan Chi, which was focused a lot on, you know, Deadly Alliance or whatever, along with uh, Shang Tsung, who was not in Mortal Kombat X, you know, but they have half of it, right? And, of course, the future. This one, it, they say it's going to cover um, the, the saga between Onaga and Blaze and whatever. Which tells me it's going to cover um, Deception and Armageddon and whatnot. And, of course, you know, new stuff from the future and whatever. So, basically, they're following their own, like, continuity with this. You know what I mean? And one last thing they say that... The new threat within the game or whatever, I guess the new boss, is not going to be from another kingdom. That's the way they're wording it, which I, I guess the um, translation is off and whatever. It's going to be another realm, you know what I mean? So it's not from another realm, so it's going to be from, I guess, Earth realm. And my guess, if I had to like really guess and bet money on this, I think it, the new boss is going to be Raiden, you know what I mean? And if you don't know why, it's because of this. Too long have I allowed Earthrealm to endure the horrors of war. Time and again we've defeated our enemies, but we've exacted no retribution, demanded no remuneration. What have we gained for our mercy? More intrigue? More senseless violence. As the new rulers of the Nether Realm, heed me. No longer will I simply defend Earth Realm. I will seek out and destroy all who threaten it. No mercy will be shown. No quarter given. Shinnok was an elder god, impossible to kill. There are fates worse than death.
So yeah, as you see, at the end of Mortal Kombat X, Raiden turned evil. He became Dark Raiden, for those of you that know about the 3D games or whatever. You know, Deception, Deadly Lions, and all that. We had Dark Raiden, an er evil version of Raiden and whatnot. He threatened the new, like, uh, regime of the, you know, Netherrealm or whatever, which is Lord Kong Lao. Oh, no. Liu Kang, rather. And uh, Katana and whatever. They rule um, the Netherrealm or whatever. And, yeah, I'm betting they'll be in the game if all this is true. Some type of war with them. But, uh, yeah, if this is true, Raiden's gonna wind up being the boss. Um, but yeah, y'all, there's a little bit of news or whatever, so, you know what I mean? Comment down below and tell me what you think about this. Do you think it's a no-brainer that Scorpion, Sub-Zero, and Raiden's gonna be in the game? Do you think Raiden is gonna be the boss of the game if any of this is true? Do you think that the story's gonna revolve around Onaga and Blaze and whatever? And, you know, do you think they're gonna be in the game? Also, do you think Taven and Dagon are gonna be in the game? Comment all your opinions down below in the comments and whatever and if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and until next time y'all peace